Hello my lovelies, welcome back to another video. My name is Gemma and today I'm going to be suggesting some amazing books that you can gift to children. So if you're new to my channel, um, you may not know that I have three children. I have a 16 year old stepdaughter and two boys who are nine and two. I also have a raft of nieces, nephews, that, no, I don't have any nephews. <laughs> nieces, goddaughters, honorary nieces. Um, so I thought I'd just go through some of the books that I have bought. Um, we have a range of ages um, from two to 16 that I have bought for, and I just sort of show you some of the books. Um, obviously I've bought these for them for Christmas, but none of them are Christmassy books, so they could work for birthdays or whatever um or just for a treat <laughs> um, so let's run through them shall we all right i'm going to start at the top with the book that i have bought for my 16 year old um because man 16 year olds are hard to buy for and i buy her a book every year she's not a prolific reader but she is just starting to get into books now she even posted an instagram photo in a bookshop the other day and i sent her all like the little heart emojis she's like you are so embarrassing <laughs> So, yes, so I've bought her, I've gone for a slightly different tack this year, and I've bought her a graphic novel, and I've bought her Heartstopper by Alice Aisman. So this gets loads and loads of love on Booktube. It's um, a male, male coming of age romance, I believe, and there are four volumes. This is volume one. Um, I thought um, she would quite enjoy it, obviously, because it is a graphic novel, it will take her no time at all to like whiz through it but I think it'll be right up her alley um so yeah we're gonna give it a go so yeah I've bought her this one and hopefully she'll really love it um but I shall uh I shall feed back if she does there's absolutely no way on god's green earth she would be seen dead on this channel so I'll have to <laughs> I shall have to tell you her thoughts myself um but yeah so that's the first one I wanted to talk about then moving on to sort of slightly older children, sort of in the, I don't know, 7 to 11 bracket. The first book that I want to talk to you about is Oceanarium, which is massive. Um, and this is a non-fiction book all about different animals in the ocean that I've bought for my goddaughter. Because um, she loves non-fiction and she loves um, nature and stuff. And it just has the most beautiful illustrations in um I mean how beautiful is that and just tells you a bit about all these different animals and sort of sea life so there's a page on anemones here and yeah hopefully she will really love it um I really love it <laughs> but uh yeah just a few pages there for you the text is sort of sort of dense but it has um some interesting little Sort of facts and stuff at the bottom so she can just pick it up and put it down as she sees fit um but yeah so oceanarium is the second book that i want to talk to you about uh, and this was created by tegan white and loveday trinick so yeah there's that one stunner um staying in that sort of age range the next book is julia and the shark so this does have illustrations in as well, um, but it has quite a lot of text. So I'll be honest, I can't quite remember who I bought this for. <laughs> I will have to work that out soon because they need to be wrapped today. Um, but this one, I'm just going to read you the back. It's really short synopsis that just says, my, num my name is Julia. This is the story of the summer. I almost lost my mum and found a shark older than the trees. Don't worry though, that doesn't spoil the ending. Um, and I think this won some sort of Waterstones award, maybe. Um, but I just thought it looked delightful. Um, and I think for, for the younger bracket in there, it's probably a adult read to the child. Um, but once sort of over 10, I think that'd be quite easily digestible um, by a child. The next one, probably the same sort of age bracket. Um, is The Sister Who Ate Her Brothers, 
and Other Gruesome Tales by Jen Campbell. Jen Campbell is a fellow booktuber. I highly recommend you check her out. She has some great recommendations. Um, and clearly she's also an author. Um, so I saw her talking about this when it was released earlier in the year and I thought it sounded fantastic. Um, particularly for my son, Sam, who struggles with attention span. <laughs> let's be honest. Um, so I thought short stories would be great and the more gruesome the better. Uh, so yeah, there's there's a variety of stories in here. We've got one here, the daughter who loved a skeleton. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Um, and again, it's got some stunning illustrations in. Um, so yeah, this is the next book that I purchased. Getting down to, oh actually no, one more. For that i was watching jack over at spread book joy the other day and she was doing a similar video recommending books for children um and she mentioned this one how was that built uh and this is about all different buildings um and skyscrapers and all the rest of it um so if i just show you a page this is the pantheon in rome and my son Sam absolutely loves like buildings and architecture and how you build different things and is always asking me weird questions uh and I just I saw her talking about this and I was like hell yes I need that book <laughs> so this will be going under the tree from Mr Claus um but yeah and there's this beautiful page on the shard here which he's been hounding me to go to for ages, but we just haven't got around to it. Um, so yeah, so, and this one is by, illustrated by Katie Hickey, um, by Roma Agrawal, Agrawal. Um, so yeah, beautiful book for kids that love building. <laughs> right, now we'll move on to uh, the ones for younger children. I've only got three of these. This is going to be quite a short video, um, but nevertheless. I'm going to start with this one, um, which is also another Jen Campbell book, and that is Franklin's Flying Bookshop. And I think there's a couple in this, I think this is a series. I think there's a couple more of these, um, but I'm not sure. Anyway, it's about Franklin, who's the dragon, I believe, um, and a flying bookshop, which we win, right? Again, this has got beautiful, beautiful illustrations. I actually did just gift this to um, my honorary niece, my best friend's little girl, who's just turned four for her birthday. Um, and I will also be giving this to Charlie for Christmas because I just thought it was so delightful. Um, and obviously, if I can support Jen by buying two books, then, well, three, because I bought the other one as well, then I will. Um, Next, okay, this one may be slightly older, maybe for sort of five to nine, five to seven, maybe. Um, and that is Great Women Who Changed the World. Um, this is obviously a, a picture book. And in here we've got um, little stories about all different women. This is Marie Curie. Um, beautiful illustrations, loads of fat. There is a lot of text in here, which is why possibly not for like younger, younger children, but certainly as kids get older, this will be a great addition, um, especially when they have like school projects where they have to learn about certain people. Um, so yeah, this one is going to one of my other goddaughters. <laughs> and last but not least, we have a book by Benjamin Zafir. Fanias, <laughs> uh, illustrated by Neela A. I, Nature Trail. <laughs> um, so this one is stunning. Um, I love nature. I work in agriculture, so anything outsidey, outdoorsy is like right up my alley. Um, and we've just got some stunning pictures in here. Minimal text, so probably better for sort of the younger readers. But yeah, how stunning. And look at the end papers. Man, I love a pretty book. Um, so yeah, this is just about um, a little boy's garden or girl's garden. I don't know. 
at the bottom of my garden there's a hedgehog and a frog and a lot of creepy crawlies living under a log so yeah i thought that sounded perfect um and all kids love mini beasts right so i bought that one and that's it that's it i did think this was going to take longer and i have was through but those are the books i've bought um for the kidlets in my life um so yeah let me know if you've read any of those if you also recommend them and also if you have any other recommendations you want to give me for children's books because man the birthdays they keep coming they keep coming and i am that auntie that buys a book for like every child <laughs> so yeah so yeah hopefully you liked that whistle stop tour of uh the christmas books that i have bought for <laughs> the kids in my life and um I hope to see you soon. If you like this video, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting. Um, it always helps. Uh, and it's Christmas, the time for giving. <laughs> so, yeah. Love to you all. Merry Christmas. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.